Hymns of praise echo while commemorating the life and mission of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Members of the Brooklyn Diocese joining their Catholic neighbors at Long Island's St. Agnes Cathedral to remember the Christian reverend who fought for social justice. He sort of gave us an uplift that we were not alone. You know, we were not alone. And it didn't make any difference what our faith was. He was a man of God. So even though we were Catholic, we still belong to him. We still honor him. We still recognize him. We keep the legacy of, of him alive, you know, of promoting unity, um, promoting racial harmony, bringing ourselves together as Christians. The evening featuring testimonies and prayer intentions in multiple languages. Presiding at the service, Long Island's Catholic leader, Bishop John Barris, who echoes the words of St. Pope John Paul II. You have to confront the past so that you can move forward into the future. And so we do that in a way where the, the wounds of the risen Lord touch the wounds of all of our African American brothers and sisters who have experienced racism over decades. And these Catholics look to move forward, carrying Dr. King's message into the future. I think it's important during these times when we are having difficulty around the world that we remember our heroes. Every Catholic has a responsibility from their baptism to stand up against racism and to be instruments of racial harmony and beatitudinal peace generally in the world. No matter what the color of our skin may be, we're all members of the mystical body of Christ and we're called to come together to give honor and glory and praise to God our Father. In Rockville Center, Tim Harfman, Currents News.